It's talk time. It's talk time. Let's get ready for speech. It's talk time. It's talk time. Let's get ready for speech. Hello, friends. How are you today? I hope you're having a good day. Okay, we are going to talk about the letter H. You may have seen this card before. It's our tired dog sound. You can actually feel this sound. If you go, ah, you can feel that air on your hand. You just push from right, right here. Ah, and you make the H sound. Super easy. And you've worked with Miss Rachel, so you know about the long or big lines down, and a short line across, a big line down, and then a curved line. So let me put on this letter hat, and let's talk about some of the things that start with the letter H. Let's start with our body. What if we sing, if you're happy and you know it? Wait, wait, wait. I think we've already covered two H words. I said hi, that starts with H. And I said happy, oh for sure let's sing it. Okay, let's see if we can only sing it with body parts that start with H. Are you ready? Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, this is a little different. We're going to stomp our heels, this bottom part of your foot. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your heel. Boom, boom. Your shoe may even light up on your heel. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your heel. Boom, boom. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your heel. Boom, boom. All right. What about if you're happy and you know it, wiggle your hips. Yeah, hips starts with H. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your hips. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your hips. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. How about if you're happy and you know it, touch your hair. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, touch your hair. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, touch your hair. If you're happy and you know it, shout what? <gasps> Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Good job, friends. That was so many H words. Hand, head, hair, hips, heel, hooray, happy. Y'all are doing great. When we're just only talking about your body, we haven't even looked all over my house. Hmm. House starts with the letter H. So I wandered all up and down, back and forth the halls of my house, from one room to another room, through the hallways, looking for things that started with the H. So let me show you what I found. First, I found 
some headphones. Are you watching or listening with headphones? Can you hear with headphones? These are big headphones. I found a helmet. Do you have a helmet? When do you wear your helmet? Yes, yes, it's important to wear it on a bicycle and on a scooter. Yeah, keeps your head safe. Okay, I found a few other things little odd. I found a hook. You might have a hook at your house that you hang your backpack or your lunchbox on. I found a hanger that I can hang it on right there. The hanger was in my closet with a coat on it. Okay, then I wandered into one little room and hiding, hiding in a corner, I found a small hedgehog wearing a hat. And my dog is very curious about the hedgehog. Do you have a hedgehog in your house? They're very popular, these hedgehogs. Pink is an unusual color though. And what is on this hedgehog? What shape do you see? A heart. Maybe it's a Valentine hedgehog, but it was hiding behind some things. I had to dig it out. Okay, what else did I hunt for in my house? Oh, I did find some other animals. Mm -hmm. I found a little horse. Yeah, a horse starts with H. And I found some hay for him to eat. Lots of toys in my house. I found a donkey, which does not start with the letter H, but the donkey says hee haw, hee haw. So he makes an H sound when he talks. I found a hippopotamus. Where would you go to see a hippopotamus? Mm -hmm. The zoo. The zoo is where you can see a hippopotamus. Often they're in the water. Yeah. I found a hawk. There are lots of real hawks near my house. They fly super high in the sky. Have you seen any? And I found another bird. Okay, the owl does not start with H. You are right. It starts with O. But... What sound does the owl make? Hoot, hoot, hoot. Yep, its sound starts with H. Speaking of sounds, I found two things that you can hear that make noise in my house. I found a horn. <coughs> Did you hear it? That one's loud, yeah. And I found a harmonica. <laughs> Did you hear it? Both of these instruments make noise by blowing. Not banging like a drum, not pushing like a piano, by blowing. <laughs> Horn and harmonica, both. Start with H. Oh, I found a very useful tool too. I found a hammer. Now I wish you could hold this hammer because it is really big and heavy. And this end of it that hits the nail is very, very hard. My hedgehog is soft, but this hammer is hard. Yep. Okay, friends, I think that was all the things I found. Oh, except I did find this book. 
how does this caterpillar feel? Hungry. You're right. Another H word. Okay, friends. Thank you for finding H words with me. I would love to know if you can find any more at your house. If you'd like to post a little picture below, I would love to see it. Even if maybe you're playing hide and seek or hopping up and down, or maybe you're playing hoops in your backyard or hockey. All right, friends, talk time is finished. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye, friends.